I think one of my all-time favorite projects I've ever built is this piano bar right behind me. I built it in uh, my early part of 2015. I don't really remember how I come across or why I was uh, researching stuff, but I come across someone that had a, it was like a baby grand piano, but just like the, the outside frame of it hung on a wall with some shelves. And it got me to thinking, you know, what about a upright piano? I just started running it through my head and said, shoot, I, I think I'm gonna try it. And you can get these pianos for a little or nothing. A lot of times you can get them for free. So that's why I decided to go ahead and do this project. I kind of needed some decor in my house. It was looking a little barren. You know, sometimes I get these ideas in my head and they just kind of drive me crazy until I complete them. And uh, this was one of them. And like I said, it's one of my favorite ones. Anybody that comes over to my house, they notice it. They love it, you know. I I've never seen another one like it. That's one reason I like it so much. It's kind of different. Of course, I don't have video of me building it, but I took a lot of pictures as I went and saved them. So I'm going to use that and do a little voiceover and let you guys know how I did it. So let's get to it. Let me show you how I built this piano bar. The first thing you're going to need is an upright piano. You can get these things for a little bit of nothing. I got this one for a hundred bucks. You look online, you can get them for free a lot. You just gotta move them. The next thing you're gonna do is take off all the stuff you can till you can get to the soundboard. I was able to do this with basic hand tools, wasn't much to it. My next step, and was probably the most difficult, was removing the soundboard itself. I took apart as much as I could with tools, but eventually I had to use a sledgehammer to break it apart to get it all out in small pieces. Once I got it out, I had to add some boards that you can see in there from an old pallet to kind of fur it out. I ended up taking the front cover off and turning it upside down. I mounted it with two piano hinges I got from Lowe's. This way when it folds down it kind of creates a little bar. I used some old pallet slats that I reclaimed for the back wall of the piano and then I got a cheap piece of pine wood to make the bottom of the piano floor where the bottles will sit. When I got this piano, it had a piece of glass across the second little step up. I replaced this with a piece of pine. I also picked up a little decorative wood piece from Lowe's. They were relatively cheap, like 15 bucks, and I attached it to the front panel. I picked up a little mini fridge from Walmart for under 100 bucks, I believe. Uh, I cut out a spot in the bottom of the piano, and I made a little platform out of plywood for it to sit on because it stuck out further than the piano itself. That way it wouldn't be wobbly. I built a little shelf on the inside of the piano to have a spot to put glasses and I also picked up a little under the cabinet light from Lowe's. I think it was under 20 bucks. Both my kids pitched in and helped me paint the piano. It's funny looking back and seeing them so small. It's probably one of the reasons I like this project so much. No telling what kind of wolves and crap has been on this piano over the years so I went with kilts for the first coat. You can also see the little fridge platform I built in these two pictures. Then it was time for a coat of oil based satin black. I wanted this thing to look distressed, so there's no worries of trying to make this thing look perfect. The more imperfections, the better. Then it was time to move it inside. Now, these things are freaking heavy. A big shout out to my homie JD Price for helping me with that. And obviously I was really pleased with how it turned out, and I still am today. I think I did this whole project for under $300 at the time. Some things might be a little more expensive now than it was then but I actually spent more money buying alcohol to put on the inside than I did for the whole project to build it. I'd love to do another one of these one day if maybe I'd run across somebody that wanted one built for themselves. I had a lot of fun on this project. Like I said, I'm tickled pink with how it turned out and it's just a cool conversation piece. Everybody that comes over notices it and I've had people say that if anything happens to me, that's what they want. Out of all the possessions I have, I've had three or four people tell me they want this piano. So I hope this video inspired a little creativity in somebody. If you haven't yet, please like and subscribe. Comment below, let me know what you think about my piano bar. And I'll see you guys on the next video.